Welcome back and thank you for watching my video again. If you are not a subscriber, consider subscribing if you think this content will help you or someone you know. Also join our Facebook community. Watch, subscribe, like and share to help build our community. There are also free survival items links in all the videos, just pay shipping. Why Cyber Resilience is a Crucial Component of This New Stay-at-Home World What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of a resilient infrastructure? Perhaps it's well-built roads and bridges, or an electrical grid designed to withstand major storms. As we experience increased intensity of hurricanes, forest fires and other natural disasters, the resilience of a community's infrastructure has skyrocketed to the top of priority lists. And it makes sense, an infrastructure's resiliency level has a direct connection to the economic impact of a disaster. But I'd argue that, in light of today's ever-rising threat of cyber criminality and particularly the rise in severity and frequency of ransomware attacks, there's a foundational piece of infrastructure that remains vulnerable, IT systems and data center operations. And now, as COVID-19 requires that much of the world to work from home, new vulnerabilities are added to the equation. As so many organizations close their physical locations, wireless connectivity and data center operations are critical to keeping businesses running, which makes preparing IT infrastructures for disaster just as important as traditional infrastructure. In 2019, more than 40 municipalities in the U.S. were hit by cyber attacks. Just this summer, 22 cities in Texas were hit hard by ransomware attacks that had damaging effects on everything touched by the local government's IT system, from public health to first responders. And with the COVID-19 pandemic, we're starting to see the worst of the worst. Brno University Hospital in the Czech Republic, the most significant COVID-19 testing center in the country, was hit by a cyber attack that suspended its operations and shifted acute patients to another location. With today's critical infrastructure so dependent on data-based IT systems, it's imperative that critical IT infrastructures and data centers are continuously available. IT teams must constantly evaluate their IT resilience strategies and integrate new technologies into their operations to ensure true IT resilience. And a crucial component to IT resilience is ensuring a comprehensive, effective and current infrastructure resilience strategy is in place in order to combat threats in an unstable world. Don't count on keeping it out. Every year, cyber attacks impact millions of people in the form of election interference, credit card theft, health record hacks and more. As a direct result, the past decade has seen a significant rise in U.S. cybersecurity spending. From $65 billion in 2012 to a projected $114 billion by the end of 2020, U.S. organizations continue to invest heavily in cybersecurity in hopes of combating these types of reputation-damaging attacks. At the same time, even amongst all of this increased cybersecurity spending, more than 50% of companies in 2018 experienced a downtime event in the previous five years that lasted longer than a full workday. These are catastrophic figures considering one hour of unplanned downtime can cost large enterprises up to $700,000 and will only be more catastrophic in our new COVID-19 environment where many businesses are already feeling the impacts of a rapid economic shift. In fact, according to Solutions Review, 90% of businesses without a disaster recovery strategy will fail in the aftermath of a disaster. On the flip side, 96% of companies with a trusted backup and disaster recovery plan were able to survive ransomware attacks. What does this tell us? It proves that throwing money at cybersecurity solutions alone will not prevent attacks from getting over the perimeter. It's an important first line of defense but considering that some of the world's largest organizations, and thus largest cybersecurity spenders, have been hit hard by ransomware, WPP, Merck, Mars Incorporated, and more, prevention spending is not the sole solution. According to the Cybersecurity Insight report by CDW, prevention isn't the answer. Organizations have never had success stopping attacks. Surviving the accident is what's important, not preventing it in the first place. If organizations want to effectively combat cyber threats disaster recovery and backup solutions must be discussed hand-in-hand -hand with cybersecurity prevention solutions, incorporate both into one overarching infrastructure resilience strategy. Even if you've implemented the most statistically well-performing cybersecurity solutions on the planet, a failure to prioritize integrating disaster recovery and backup solutions into your strategy leaves your organization vulnerable to attack. Adopt a holistic view. In the past, teams in charge of cybersecurity, 
business continuity and disaster recovery have often operated in silos, leaving strategies around each disjointed. Given the evidence provided above, today's organizations can't afford to structure themselves in this way. There's an important intersection that needs to take place between cyber resilience, IT resilience and business resilience in order to achieve a holistic plan of attack against inevitable ransomware breaches, a plan that not only does everything possible to prevent the attack in the first place, but also ensures businesses continue to thrive if an attack makes its way through. This means that maintaining a resilient business, one that can continue to grow, even in the event of a data security breach or data disaster, requires a strong business continuity slash disaster recovery BCDR, plan that recognizes both the value and limitations of cybersecurity solutions. This plan should include the use of modern data protection, backup, journaling, recovery and replication tools to allow organizations to continue operating in the event of an attack. While natural disasters and resilient physical infrastructures are top of mind for many, in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, I'd like to encourage more community, IT and political leaders to add cyber resilience to their larger infrastructure and IT resilience discussions and plans. If every organization took a close look at its IT playbook, ransomware would be far less destructive and costly and could ultimately deter cyber criminals from launching attacks in the first place.